All right, well, I got this meter from Amazon, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out how to get it working, and I downloaded some instructions from Banggood. And uh, yeah, pretty good instructions. A couple little things that are a little vague. Uh, one is uh, we've got our discharge. I got D written there for that side and charge relays right here and here. The other thing that's not commented on is that this part right here is the power supply that feeds the relays and can also feed this device. Now this device right here runs on Bluetooth so he can be plugged into a five uh, a, a USB port of any type like what you might charge your phone with or whatnot. Uh, and then you don't have to have him connected directly to it. So here's the uh, complicated part, and that's the uh, programming instructions for how to program this. Now I'm going to go up here. We scroll through our different functions this way, and the top is for our charging uh, load, and you see I've got him set for zero, and when you set it for zero, then it doesn't, then it's not working. If we set that for a certain amperage, then when that much amperage goes on our, and I think NCP is for a negative current protection, and then uh, our next one down is for our other current protection, our charge current protection, and over voltage protection means that's that's where I, I have set that and I set him for 37 volts 37.9 so if my uh, voltage gets up to 37.9 it shuts off on the uh, low voltage uh, I've got him set for 32 and we adjust that up or down once we're in there we click it on and now when we see that window open up we can click up or down let's say I want to set it up a tenth of a volt uh, that's our low voltage protection alright so once we got into there then we're into this part right here the out and what this does is it controls which relay I've got two of them here which relay is going to be on well, right now I'm discharging him through a load but if I push this button and hold it for a little bit. Oh. There we go. Now I'm charging. And you see I'm charging at 20, 28 amps. Uh, these numbers here, that's if you notice that one's going up. I uh, figured that this was a uh, 50 amp hour battery. Uh, this right here shows the kilowatts too. And he's he should be going up also. That's the kilowatts put in the battery. And when I go to the discharge mode, now it's showing discharge. And this right here is the time that it thinks you got. So it thinks I got 38 amp hours or whatever. It's saying about an hour and 12 minutes to take out that 45 amp hours. And you see there, the amp hours is clicking down as we're talking. Uh, now over here this we come down a couple now that was the lock I passed by which you don't need to know about. Uh, battery capacity I wonder why that changed when I did that but it did. It's now uh, in the charge mode. Uh, so that's where you set your value I set him for 52 amp hours. We go back out of there. And I come down here and uh, B PC is how many amp hours uh, you think the battery has now. Set EP value 0 to 100. I, yeah, all right. I don't know what that means. Huh. Oh, I think, I, I think what's happened is I've gotten up to the uh, charged voltage and and uh, when I hit that charged voltage that I was set at it went over to the uh, discharge mode it's it switches between charge and discharge 
uh, it, as soon as you hit the peak, I'm going to hold this down again and see if there we are. Now I'm back charging again. Yeah, and what happened is I uh, my top threshold must have hit. So there we go. You can also change the screen around at the last display. I got to keep this short. So. Uh, from greenshedconversions.com to the rest of the world. Hello. We got some batteries here, don't we? Uh, so as you can see, I got plenty of batteries to to play with here, right? How do we get all these batteries?